Hello, Internet friends. Let's talk about foreigners living in Western nations and why they won't go back to their homeland and make their homelands great. Well, they have a different set of values and they don't have our integrity. They're not a high trust people. If you point it out to a Westerner that they are invading somebody's space or doing harm to somebody, they go crazy apologizing. They feel so guilty and they they will sleek away in embarrassment and hide because we are a high trust people and these foreigners that are coming in, they're not a high trust people. They are a bunch of thieves and they lie a lot and that's their value system. And uh, a lot of uh, people that I've talked to who live here, if they were born here, they'll say, well, I'm from here. And I'll, <laughs> I'll correct them. I'm not very nice. Unless I can't correct them. You know, I mean, there's some situations where that just doesn't fly. But I cor in most situations, I will tell people they're not from here. And, you know, well, I was born here. Well, that doesn't mean anything. You're still not from here. You don't get that right to say you're from here. And I talk to people who uh, have gotten citizenship by serving in our military. And these people go, well, you know, I did this and this and that. And I earned my citizenship. I'm like, well, I'm sorry that somebody lied to you and told you that you can earn citizenship. It doesn't make you one of us. You know, you're still part of whatever culture you were born into. Your culture, your heritage, your traditions. Those are That's that's yours. You get to keep that. And you should be proud of that. But they're not. They're not proud of that. They, I don't know if they feel ashamed or they feel slighted or whatever. But they just don't like themselves for some reason. Or they don't like the lack of, um, God, what's the word? The lack of success in their own societies. And they can't quite figure out why they come from failed cultures. You know, being dishonest is a genetic thing, I think. At least that's from what I can tell. It's not, uh, why would we have a high trust society? Where does that come from? You know, I mean, we have, we teach each other to be a high trust people, but where did that come from? Of course, it's genetic because people who, even if they're being forced to act in a trustworthy manner, if genetically speaking, they're not a high trust person from a high trust culture, they're still going to be the sum of their parts, whether they like it or not, whether anybody likes it or not. And they can argue with you all day long and call you white supremacist or racist or whatever. But, you know, we are just a sum of our parts. And these foreigners coming into our country saying that they're one of us, if you point out they're not our kin... And you point out that whatever they do, they still can't be one of us. Oh, it just makes me crazy when they go, Well, I'm a conservative, and I'll fight for this country. No, you won't. Here, I'll talk. And, uh, I mean, why, why would you fight for a nation that's not even yours? Why would you fight for a people that are not yours? These foreigners that have come here and set up shop, they want everything to fall apart so that they can uh, live here and take our stuff. And if we happen to die off, ho, oh, they would be so happy. They don't mind living under tyranny because that's the kind of system that they came from. And uh, they won't leave until the conditions become primitive like the ones they left. And then they probably go back to their original country. All right, Internet friends. Well, that's all the ramblings for today. Americans, I want to remind you that you are the light in the darkness for those who live under tyranny. You are the hope for people who have lost hope. You are the descendants of settlers, conquerors, pioneers, and frontiersmen. We can only win. Losing is not a choice. Losing is not an option. People are counting on us. The entire world is counting on us to win. Stay strong, my friends. Thank you so much for listening. I look forward to your comments below.